Erev Tov Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You are watching Israeli News Live and wanted to bring something to your attention. There's been a lot of uh, speaking here lately that uh, as far as uh, comments that people question whether or not Russia actually had troops on the ground in Syria. And so I decided to do a little bit more research for you on this and bring you some more information just to prove my point. And of course, the title of this uh, news broadcast is Russia in the United States are at war. That is a fact, not a fantasy any longer. You know, this is actually very clear on two fronts already. In Ukraine, Russian forces have been helping East uh, Ukraine uh, fight uh, against Kiev and West Ukraine's forces there that are backed by the United States. So it has inevitably been a war between the United States and Russia. And of course, both sides are actually using troops in the battle. They are using their own forces. The U.S. has been using special forces to help push back uh, the, the uh, self-proclaimed Republic of the Donsk and Luhansk regions there. And Russia as well has used special forces to push back Kiev. And of course, the heavy fighting, the heavy bombardment of artillery is really a war between Russia and the United States. But the stakes have gotten bigger here recently, and that's in the case of Syria in the Middle East. And of course, with Syria, it's more obvious why Russia and the United States are going head to head at it there, because the area more and more is discovering much natural gas and oil. Russia has already signed an agreement with the Palestinian uh, Mahmoud Abbas, with the Palestinian uh, government there, that has already been announced by the Pope of Rome to be an actual state, which very soon by the United Nations will be declared a state as well. The Pope of Rome declaring a new world order coming right here in the month of September, which we are already in. We are only days away from a new world order being established. Putin also spoke about another currency coming, not to mention on, uh, on uh, CT24 News in the Czech Republic, they're speaking about the whole European Union going to one currency. You know, some people might think, well, everybody here has the euro. That's not quite the case. There are several people a part of the European Union that do not use the euro. In fact, Denmark and the Czech Republic are two of those nations that have their own currency, including England. But there are some that say England is not part of the EU. But nonetheless, the point is, all Europe is supposed to go to one currency. So what is happening? Well, let's look back at this war issue here. The war issue is that, yes, Putin does have troops on the ground. And on TASS Russian News Agency, Putin actually spoke about exactly what's going on and what he's doing. It says uh, the title of the article is Putin earlier to speak of Russia's readiness for military participation in the fight against ISIS, or IS, as they call it there. Uh, he said here on this article here, we consider various possibilities, but not what you have mentioned. Participation in military operations, that is, is not yet on our, on our agenda, Putin told reporters at Eastern Economic Forum. But he goes on to say, we will hold consultations with our Syrian friends and the countries of the region, he said. Speaking that we, we are ready to do it today is pr premature, but we are providing Syria with a rather serious support and equipment and training forces with armament, Putin stressed. The Russian president said it is a separate topic in the context of the fight against terrorism. He reminded that the U.S. is to carry out airstrikes on, his, on the IS targets now, but this has not produced any tangible result so far. Speaking on supporting Syria with armament, Putin said concerns the contract signed some five or seven years ago. We are performing them in full, he said. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Pesakov on Wednesday rejected media reports about possible participation of Russian armed forces in the airstrike against the Islamic State uh, terrorist group. You should not believe these media reports, uh, Peskov told uh, journalists. But the fact still remains, though. Nonetheless, Putin has admitted here in this very article here that yes, they are helping their friends Syria, the Abbas regime, the, uh, the Abbas uh, regime there. Can't quite say as I blame him there because it's the United States is the one that actually armed the jihad and even ISIS forces to go up against Assad. So what's actually going on then? It is the United States and Russia at war in another country, only using different forces to actually fight the battles instead of themselves fighting it out. 
Uh, in another article, this is, not, this is only the beginning of the articles that are actually out there regarding this here. Let me take you to another one here. Um, it says here, this here, and this was also in TASS News and also have one on Wall Street Journal News. The White House U.S. monitoring reports on alleged Russian forces in Syria. It says here that Washington is closely monitoring media reports that Russia has allegedly deployed its contingent to Syria. White House spokesman Josh Ernest has said, we are aware of reports that Russia may have deployed military personnel and aircraft to Syria, and we are monitoring those reports quite closely, uh, Ernest said. Without detailing if Washington believes the reports that have been uh, ir earlier rejected by the Kremlin, the official said evidence has been inconclusive to what this activity is. The U.S. considers the support for Syrian President Bashar, uh, Bashar Assad is destabilizing and counterproductive, he added. I don't think Russia is really concerned about destabilizing or being counterproductive because quite clearly Russia has been in the process of building a whole new economic structure between its own allies, China, Iran, Syria, also these countries in the region who are also strong backers and allies of Russia. And they are definitely building a force to be reckoned with if NATO so decides to try and to, to, to get into a war with Russia. Russia is starting to get a lot of friends, a lot of friends that have a lot of capabilities nonetheless. Uh, also, I'd like to take you over to uh, Wall Street, uh, excuse me, uh, this is uh, the, uh, actually the global research. It says, U.S. agrees to act as terrorist bodyguards open to attacking Assad forces. Fresh on the heels of the establishment of an ISIL-free zone in northern Syria along Turkish border, the United States has quietly announced that it will also extend its airstrike operations to act as the traveling bodyguard of the jihadists it has trained and vetted. The policy reported authorized by Barack Obama would involve the U.S. Air Force bombing any force attacking the so-called moderate rebel fighters, including the Syrian military. The announcement was first reported on Sunday by the Wall Street Journal. Via anonymous military sources, the senior military official told the WSJ for offensive operations, it's ISIS only, but if attacked, we'll defend them against anyone who's attacking them. We're not looking to engage the regime, but we've made a, a commitment to help defend these uh, these people. White House National, Secu uh, National S Security Council spokesman uh, Arstair Baski stated, we won't get into the specifics of our rules of engagement, but have said all along that we would take the steps necessary to ensure that these forces could successfully carry out their mission, which of course is to overthrow the, the Assad regime. This is something that Russia cannot afford to have happen because Syria has been a very staunch ally of Russia in the region there for quite some time. And to do that would certainly cause a, a, a major problem uh, for, for, for something like this to actually happen there. Um, and another, uh, 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 another article here on TASS says, uh, the technical, no secret Russian Syrian military technical cooperation Russian foreign ministry says here, uh, says the, the, he says, I saw reports about Russian planes on the Syrian territory. I also saw comments on this uh, matter by Russian defense minister and presidential administration that disavowed this information. There is nothing to add here, uh, Zakharov said. Sensational statements are often made about military technical cooperation between Russia and Syria, that it grows or decreases, uh, she said. We see them in different parts of the world, and it had always made sound to sensational Sensational. We say that we never tried to make a secret out of this. This is our con uh, consistent position connected with assisting officials, uh, official Damascus in its fight against terrorism threat, the deployment stressed. Uh, so Russia is vowed to fight terrorism. And of course, uh, for Russia, terrorism is not the same thing as what the United States considers to be a terrorism. Also, the Russian uh, military also is... Um, uh, their, their airborne troop chief says uh, paratroopers are ready to help Syria in combating terrorism. This is the airborne troops of Russia. Uh, according to Colonel General Vladimir uh, Shmanov, Shmanov said that, that, that help would be rendered should such decision be made by Russian leadership. Uh, he stated there that the Russian airborne troops are ready to assist Syria in counterterrorism. Terrorists, if such a task is set by Russian leaders, commander of the airborne troops, Colonel General Vladimir uh, Shmenorov, 
told reporters on Tuesday, of course, we will execute the decision set forth by the country's leadership if there is a task at hand, Shmenov uh, said. It is response uh, to, the, to a Syrian reporter's question about the readiness of the Russian airborne troops to render assistance to a Syrian government in a battle against terrorism which, by the way, the United States is considered a terrorist regime as well, fighting against uh, Syria. Not that we actually consider the U.S. a terrorist regime ourselves, just stating the fact that anyone that's coming against Syria is considered a terrorist in their mind there. So clearly, this is a war between not just Syria and the ISIS group or the jihadists in their country. This is the United States and Russia that are at war on two different fronts, Syria in the Middle East and the Ukraine in Eastern Europe, not to mention the near about war that could break out at any time on the former Soviet border there between Poland, uh, Latvia, and other countries like that where the United States along with NATO and their allies there have built up a tremendous military force in Europe to combat Russia. Only right now we have small skirmishes going on, at least small skirmishes compared to what is coming. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.